Hello and welcome to another video demonstration of SimWise 4D. This is also one of the tutorials that comes with the SimWise program. You can find it by starting the SimWise program and clicking on Help, Tutorials, and then Simulink. This demonstration will show how SimWise and Simulink can be used together to simulate control systems inside of a SimWise model. There are three main elements needed in order for these two programs to communicate. The first is that there needs to be a Simulink model or a block layout of the control system. Second, there needs to be some sort of a signal being sent from SimWise back to Simulink for processing. And third, there needs to be a signal that comes from Simulink and is accepted as an input in the SimWise model. We'll start by creating a meter for the angular velocity of the motor. We can right click on the motor icon in the browser, choose insert meters, angular velocity. We'll go ahead and we'll rename this meter to motor angular velocity. To do that we can double click the meter to access the properties and then under the appearance tab we can change the name. Next we'll go ahead and we'll create a input control and this will receive the incoming signals from Simulink. We can click on the motor icon again, click on insert, control, and we'll choose rotation. We'll use the slider control type and then once we have that control defined we can double click it to open the properties and we'll rename this to motor orientation. So our SimWise model is defined and prepared to both send out information to Simulink and receive information back to be able to drive the motor. Now over in the Simulink model, we'll go ahead and we'll build a new Simulink model. Click on New. We'll create a new model here. And the first thing we'll do is from the library, we'll grab the SimWise 4D uh, item here and then we'll click on the SimWise plant block icon and we'll hold it down and we'll drag and drop into the new Simulink window. And then we'll go ahead and click on sources and we'll define a repeating sequence, sort of a sawtooth uh, sinusoidal type source. And then we'll use the signal connector line to connect those together. And then finally, we'll put in a scope which will be used to monitor the angular velocity coming out of SimWise. So we'll go ahead and we'll double click the SimWise plant block and this allows us to browse for the file that we'll be using to analyze and that'll be the SimWise file so we can select the wipers WM3 file. This is in the SimWise uh, tutorials chapter 9 exercise 9.1 folder and then here we can see that we have the input control that we defined earlier in SimWise. We can click on that and then click on add. We'll use that as the control. And then the output meter, we'll click on our motor angular velocity output. We'll use the magnitude in this case and we'll add that. And we'll click OK. And then before we run, we have one last thing to do and that is define the input sequence here. So I'll double click the repeating sequence block icon and we'll give it some values that mimic the profile of a sawtooth curve and this would be of angular orientation versus time. And then we are ready to run our simulation. So we can go ahead and click the run button. This concludes this demonstration of SimWise 4D.